When you choose the option of bitmap as backdrop, you can use the drawing, the shapes, and the editing tools to create a design over a backdrop. I'll select File New, click Next, and then click on Browse and select the bitmap I wish to use and then click Open. Click Next, and this time I'll leave Open as Backdrop selected. This option is good for more complex bitmap images that cannot easily be traced or if you only want to work with a certain part of an image and not the entire image because with trace image the entire bitmap image will be processed. In this video we're going to look at ways to edit the backdrop. In later videos you'll learn about the drawing tools that are used to create the design with a bitmap as a backdrop. I'll click Finish and the bitmap is placed on my design screen. If I go to View and Backdrop, there are different things that you can do to this bitmap image. You can hide a backdrop or you can choose to display it above or below embroidery. Below embroidery is selected by default. I can also choose to have a washed out image and this can help view the design without seeing the image so intense in the background. Above embroidery is useful when you want to add detail on top of larger areas of the design that have already been created. In addition, you can change the properties of the image. When I select Properties, a dialog box opens. You cannot select a bitmap in DesignWorks software, but through Properties, you can alter this bitmap image. I can rotate the bitmap. I can also straighten the bitmap. All I have to do is click and drag and create the line to align the bitmap. I can also place the bitmap below. I can select washed out and I can select above embroidery. I can also change the size of the bitmap by clicking and dragging on the slider bar at the bottom of the dialog box. If I use remove, I will get a verification dialog box. If I say yes, it disappears, but can be brought back with undo.